it can lead to depression. Uh, so some studies have suggested that it leads to dementia. That when you are blind, you are being cut off from objects. When you are uh, hearing impaired, it cuts you off from being able to communicate and being able to touch people. As an audiologist, Jackie Davey knows how important hearing is. She also knows how much it can cost to fix it with hearing aids. Hearing aids typically range in price from $1,500 up to $6,000. But now there are cheaper alternatives. For example, here's a personal amplification device for less than $350. It comes with an app so you can customize it yourself via Bluetooth. No doctor or audiologist necessary. But are they as good as a $3,000 hearing aid? This audiologist says no. The devices aren't the same. You have the, the device that you are buying, which is a Kia versus you could have the Porsche of a hearing aid. Those who sell these cheaper solutions, however, would disagree. But one thing that's hard to argue, avoiding doctors and audiologists can mean missing health problems. The first thing you need to do is to rule out that something can't be medically treated, such as an impaction of wax into your ear or an ear infection, or even potentially a tumor. I was professionally diagnosed with hearing loss in my right ear several years back. So this was a great opportunity for me to try one of these things. I did try the Soundwork Solutions amp, put it in my right ear, watch TV, and it did help a lot. And my wife really appreciated not having the TV up so loud. Bottom line, in the past, there were only two options. Hearing aids or saying, what? all the time. Now there's a third option. But to be on the safe side, do check with a pro first. For more information, now hear this. Go to moneytalksnews.com and just do a search for hearing aids. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.